Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Now, how was your night? Hey, it doesn't matter how your night was good or seemingly bad. It's a new day. Praise God. And guess what? We are going to call for that daily bread today and we will receive it. Are you ready for that? Say this with me. Say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread it's coming to me now in jesus name amen praise god yes i stand with you in faith i don't know what you're believing god for today i'm not talking about your life i'm talking about today i don't know what you're believing god today maybe your bills there's a bill that is due today that you need to pay maybe there's something that you just need to settle today. I stand with you in agreement right now and I declare it is done in Jesus name. I release the angels of the Lord right now to go see to it that that need is met in your life. And if you join me right now to say amen, then I know it is done. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we bless you, Father. Thank you for a wonderful time to bring forth your truth. We love your word. <laughs> and there is nothing we can do outside of your word. So we embrace your word today and I declare right now burdens are being lifted, yokes are being destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, glory. I feel, I feel the anointing of God so strong. Yeah. And I know someone has received a miracle even right now. Yeah, someone has received a miracle. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah, she parote zeke neke tali bahaka. Yeah, we, we, we were somewhere yesterday, and I told you I'm going to continue from there today. Now, we are in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 16. 1 John 4 16. And now he says, And we have known and believed the love that God had to us. Note that. Now, I know when you study scriptures, it's important you observe the words. Like, like Proverbs, it says, let your eyes observe my saying. Now, it's not just saying, listen to me. You know, sometimes you can be listening to someone and assuming something else. But it says, observe the things that I'm saying. Observe. Notice where I put a full stop. Notice where I put a comma. Notice where I say shall. Notice when I say um, had. No, 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 notice when I say I will do something and notice what I, when I say I have done something. Take note of all those things. Praise God. Now, here he says, and we have known and believed the love that God had to us. Now, that means towards us. So, we have known and believed the love that God demonstrated towards us. And then he says, God is love. This is the definition of love. What is love? Love is God. <laughs> it's God. Yeah, love is God and God is love. It's as simple as that. Now, watch this now. If it is not God, then it is not love. I'm going somewhere with this. Remember I told you yesterday, we read from Mark chapter 12. Jesus said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul. with all." Your... And I ask you a question, can you love God? So we're going to answer that question in, 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 in this broadcast. So now he says, God is love. So, God is love. He didn't say God has love. He didn't say God demonstrates love. He said God is love. So what is love? God. What is God? Love. Praise God. Now watch this. And then I'm still reading from the same verse. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Now let's do some mathematics here. You know, and then we, we interchange some things. You know, when we're doing calculations. Now he says, God is love. And so if you 
take love to be God. I want you to notice. He's saying here that he that dwelleth in love, which is God, allow me to use that word, which is God, or who is God, he that dwelleth in love, or he that dwelleth in God, notice the word dwell, dwell, not visit, dwell. Anyone who dwells in God, understand what I'm saying? Dwells in love. Why? Because God is love. So if you dwell in God, you will dwell in love. Now, he says, watch this. He that dwelleth in love, that is God, dwelleth in God, that is love. And God, which is love, dwells in him. Now, I'm not confusing you. Just calm down. I said, we're doing some mathematics, so we interchange. So where you see love, you put God. Where you see God, you put love. Why? Because a God equals to love. I get what I'm saying. Just like you're solving problems, say pi is equals to, you know, um, and radius equals to pi r um, square, you know. So now you now interchange that thing and get your pi. You know what your pi is, three point something. You know, you put your pi there and then you now say radius square equals to. You understand what I'm saying? Now, so here he's saying God is equals to love, right? So now he say anyone who dwells in God. So you can actually say anyone who dwells in love. Dwell in love. Dwell in God. So anyone who dwells in God dwells in love. So if you visit God, you visit love. And when you visit, you may not get all. You, 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 if you visit somebody, he will offer you food, he will offer you drinks, and you, oh, you have a good time discussing, and then say, oh, I'm leaving, and then you're leaving. It doesn't mean you know that person. But when you dwell with someone, you be, you know, that's why I see in relationships, you know, you know, somebody say, oh, he was a good guy until the day we got married. I don't understand. The moment we got married, he just changed. I don't understand why. I'll tell you why. You were only visiting before this time. Now you are coming to dwell. The moment you begin to dwell, then it's something else. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's something else. So it's the same thing with God. So when you dwell in God, dwell, dwell, stay. This is now, now that's what Jesus was talking about when he said, This is the first commandment. The Lord is one, and therefore you shall love him with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. Now, what was Jesus saying? You shall dwell in God. Hmm. Now, this is not something that just happens. This is not something you wake up and say, oh, whoo, I feel like I'm dwelling in God. No, it is a quality decision you take. It is something you make up your mind for and say, you know what? I'm going to dwell in God. And, and, and so, so how do I know? How, how do I take that step to dwell in God? Listen, it means because because you don't see God. Praise God. You don't see him. So how do I dwell in God then? You dwell in God by keeping his word. Oh. <laughs> now, notice what he said here. Notice what he said here. If you dwell in God, who is love. So let me, let me read that and say, He that dwells in love dwells in God and God in him. So he that dwells in God dwells in love and love in him. Are you getting this now? If you dwell in God, then God will dwell in you. And I say, how do we dwell in God? You dwell in God by keeping his word. Mm. You remember in John chapter 15, Jesus 
Judas asked a very important question to Jesus. Jesus was talking and, and, and Judas said, Master, tell us, how are you going to manifest yourself to us and not to the world? And Jesus said, this is how it works. Anyone who loves me will keep my commandments. He will keep my words. Now, I told you something. How do you love God? How do you dwell in God? He told us if you dwell in God, you dwell in God by keeping His word, making His word first in your mind, making it first. I'm going to put my whole energy to keeping God's command. I'm going to put my whole, and now when we say keeping God's command, we're going to talk about, so what is God's command? <laughs> it's God. All right, we're, we're going to deal with that. Now, I'm going to keep everything that Jesus wants me to say, to keep. And Jesus said, when he does that, say, if a man loves me, he will keep my word. Then Jesus said, my father will love him and we will come and make our abode with him. So what's he saying? If a man keeps my word, which is dwelling in me. Are you seeing that now? If a man keeps my word, which is dwelling in me. My father will love him because he's dwelling in us. He's dwelling in me. Then we will come and dwell in him. Can you see that now? That's what he said. Anyone who dwells in God dwells in love. And love dwells in him. So you want to know someone who loves? Look at someone who dwells in God. Now, listen, and, and let me state this clearly. Outside of God, you can never produce love. It is impossible. It is impossible to generate love outside of God. An unbeliever can never love. Hear me and hear me good. This is not trying to be religious. This is not trying to side with God. This is the truth. Now, it's, you know, sometimes people say, eh, sometimes unbelievers even love more than believers. Nah, that's a big lie. I'm telling you, the reason you think that way is because you don't even know what love is. Because someone is nice to you doesn't mean they love you. Because someone is giving you attention doesn't mean they love you. I want you to understand. There are lots of things we have thought is love, looks like love, but it is not love. I'm telling the truth. It's not love. Let this sink in your heart. If it is not God, it is not love. If the person doesn't dwell in love, in God, the person cannot love. No man can love outside of God. No man can generate love in himself without God. The only source of love is your dwelling in God who is love. Simple, because God is love. So let it sink in your heart. Now you're a guy, you're a, especially ladies. You are a lady, you say, oh, ah, he says he loves me. The first thing you must check is... Does he dwell in God? That's the first thing you must check. Does this man dwell in God? Now, if he doesn't dwell in God, hear me, he does not have the capacity to love. If he doesn't dwell in God, he has no, I mean, zero capacity to love and when the chips are down it'll boil down to selfishness tomorrow i'm going to share with you on what is love now what is love in action that's what i'm talking about tomorrow i'm going to share that with you what is love in action praise god i want to bless you today father i release the unction of love right now into everyone that is watching me, praise God. And I release that unction in a greater measure that they begin to find in them strength to abide in you and to walk in you, hallelujah, which is walking and abiding in love. 
And as they dwell, Lord, I pray that love be generated in your heart. That you begin to love one another from the overflow of love that abides in your heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see someone being healed in, in, in this right ear. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that affliction to go right now. Go from you. And I command that noise to cease. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Woo! Thank you very much for today. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.